briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 2007 case of Weinberg v. Bissonnette, which unfolded in the U.S. District Court for the District of Rhode Island, wrestled with a captivating tale of looted art, Nazi persecution, and a legal battle over rightful ownership. At the heart of the case was the painting, Girl from the Sabiner Mountains by Winterhalter, originally consigned by Dr. Max Stern to the Lempert's Auction House in Germany. Twisted by the events of World War II and the vicious actions of the Nazi government, the artwork was sold under duress and for less than its worth, while Stern's assets were systematically frozen. The painting, having passed through several hands, eventually found its way to the defendant who had inherited it in 1991 from her stepfather, known to have purchased it during the Nazi regime. Yet, through ALR and Germany's Lost Art Internet database, the Stern estate laid claim to the artwork, demanding its restitution after having discovered it in the defendant's possession. This demand spiraled into a fascinating and significant replevin and conversion action, one that saw the Stern estate calling to reclaim what was forcibly taken from them. An interesting point of order in this case was that Rhode Island law allows for the Stern estate to recover the painting through replevin if they can show that they are likely the rightful owner and have a substantial need to have the painting returned while the legal dispute is ongoing. Going through the twists and turns of the case, the court ultimately ruled in favor of the Stern estate, declaring them rightfully the painting's rightful owner. A crucial ruling that punctuated this case was the court's denouncement of the defense of Lashes. As the defense failed to demonstrate any significant prejudice, their argument was seen as insufficient. Underlining this verdict was the court's approval of the Stern estate's need to recoup the painting through replevin. This landmark decision ordered the defendant to return the unlawfully taken painting, reaffirming that artwork stolen under the oppressive hands of the Nazi regime must be returned to their rightful owners, even seven decades after the end of World War II. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.